Students' union politics at Frabe College is more than what the ordinary eye can catch. Supporters appear quite politically energetic than even the candidates themselves. We believe that our candidate is the best, and we believe she's going to deliver, and we believe we are going to win this election no matter what. I endorse and affirm my support for Madam Fatima Zabinta Jalo because she is an intellectual gym, an immaculate personality. And I believe she's going to win these particular elections. As the oldest university in Trump Sahara, Africa, the 194 years old Frobe College has seen thousands of student union elections, but none has been as intricately unique and unprecedented as this year's. For the first time in this glorious four walls of the Athens of West Africa, Two female presidential candidates from the same class and department have sprung up for the elections. But will this pay tribute to male political dominance in student student politics on Frobe College? Each presidency at Frobe College manages the affairs of the general student's body for a period of one year. But holding such a prestigious title, especially for a lady, will be history broken. Hence, for the first time, two female candidates are contending for the position. I am more than prepared to restore or to continue to restore hope to the students at Frabe. The issue of transportation, that of inadequate classroom, great issues, these are not new issues. Each and every student knows that these are the fundamental problems we face at the university. But solving those problems, using the right mindset, the adequate leadership quality, is very fundamental. And she is contended by... I was born for this, and I am ready to uphold this belief. They say there are two important days in a man's life. The day they are born and the day they realize that purpose for which they are born. I was born for this and I am ready to fulfill that which I was destined for. There are students, thousands of students, that do believe in my leadership. For that reason, I need not undermine their belief. Sure. I need to uphold that belief to show that, yes, students need adequate representation. Change together! Peter for the better! Let's make change together! Oh yes, we are making that change! Oh yes! What's concerning at this point is how can tranquility and civility be injected in the electoral process, especially for a college whose student union politics has long been marred by violence and brutality. As someone who had risen through the ranks at Frabe College to a point that she even became president of the campus, what tangible piece or pieces of advice will you proffer or give to this year's presidential candidates that will, in a way, breed peace and tranquility in the electioneering process? In elections, one in the, is expected to win. Both of them would not win. And there is life after politics. After their studentship at Fourway College, they would leave the university and come down to the universe. Several years back when student union meet or when news meet and have their convention, government concurrently meets to work on the resolve of students to see how best they can solve matters. In fact, students were not only limited to solving their own problems. Students were solving problems of national concern. For we college is geographically situated up the hill so that people who are downtown, when they have problems, they lift their head to the hills and ask for solutions. At this point, all eyes are attentively turned to who will assume the presidency at Frabe College. But until what perhaps may eventually bid farewell to mill political rule on the souls of Frobe College, and the bell of victory is rung, I still am Victor Jones reporting for SLBC News Hour.